Alright ladies and gentlemen, I am here on the show, and I am here to talk about some NFL news, finally, it's been uh, quite a few days, so I'm assuming we'll have a lot of stuff to talk about here from Don Cleveland, and talk about the latest NFL stuff here, uh, it's been about 5-6 days probably, um, it's my last NFL video, uh, it's been, or even probably like a week, last no, or 8 days ago, like over a week ago, episode 137, this is episode 138, Finally getting to back into covering some NFL news here. Along with NBA, you know, normal. But let's get around to it here. Per Adam Schefter here. Per report, a number of NFL players are expected to receive season-long suspensions for allegedly gambling. This is Per Adam Schefter here. And remember when we talked about one of the episodes, Isaiah Rogers was being investigated? Apparently, he's going to be among them. Uh, he was caught betting, and a bunch of other players here are expected to receive season-long suspensions. I wonder if there will be any notable names that could get suspended from uh, the NFL finding this out here. But Isaiah Rogers is among them. He's going to be suspended. But you make millions of dollars in the NFL playing a game... And it's never enough. Like, it's crazy. And people say, oh, who wouldn't want more? I don't know. What, just just play football. You make millions of dollars. You don't need to gamble. Or if you want to gamble, wait till the you retire. Or something. Just, just wait till you retire. Then you can get, gamble all you want. But long, that's a longer suspension for gambling than domestic abuse. I mean, gambling affects the integrity of the game, which I get, which ultimately would end would be the end of the league. But domestic violence is like a personal issue that affects like a family. I don't know if it affects the league, but it kind of does affect like the view because you get longer suspensions for gambling than like domestic abuse, though. And meanwhile, Sean Watson only got 11 games. But I guess that beats never playing that NFL ever again. I think Rodgers is definitely going to get cut for sure. I feel like he's a good player. I don't know if anybody will take a chance on him though now. Because of uh, the gambling uh, issue. But... The meanwhile, you have sports leagues going out of their way to continue to push sports betting. Like, they're being banned for gambling while actively playing the league. Like, they're gambling on not for the act of gambling itself. But the league cramming sports betting down everyone's throats doesn't, doesn't help. Like, it's kind of ridiculous. But I wonder if any, like, quarterbacks or anything will be caught. Because we haven't seen any quarterbacks get caught yet. So that'll be interesting to see. So we have an update here from John Machada. Per your report here, Cowboys are projected to sign Pro Bowl wide receiver uh, City Land to a contract worth uh, somewhere between $25 to $30 million a year, writes John Machada. I don't know if this is uh, trustworthy. If this is, um. If, I don't think it's an overpay. People say, ooh, it's an overpay. He's already a two-time Pro Bowler, and he's top six in wide receiver yards. It's not a waste of money, because he's our best receiver, and it's not even close. He's a top ten receiver. He's our best receiver by far, and he's our star receiver. If we let him go, it kind of just depends on the year he has this year. Hopefully, it's really good. It's not, yeah, our wide receiver core were fucked, because we can't. Look, Brandon Cooks is a good receiver, but he can't be our leading receiver. But this is a completely fair price tag. I know people are saying, oh, it's an overpay. But a top 10 wide receiver, and the market is rising. It's not just because, oh, there's gonna, everybody gets a lot of money. It's just the market is rising in the wide receiver market. So this is a completely fair price tag. And he just went all pro, and he's going to be few, and he's gonna be all pro near every damn season. And that's basically say, people saying, oh, I don't have um, the courage like, to tell everyone 
that they don't know how lay, the league or contracts work. And people say, oh, 30 million a year, we're making the highest paid receiver with Tyreek. It's called the wide receiver market. It's sat so high, once you go for, what, 1,400 yards plus and, and aren't all pro, you get paid the value of the wide receiver, which is 25 to 30 million. If you were like that, which he is, you got Jason, Justin Jefferson, Jamar Chase, Waddle, and maybe Smith would reset the market again. You pay your star players. What else? Are you going to let them walk? Would you let CD walk? No, I wouldn't. So that's... People are basically just admitting they don't know how contracts work. Because we need CD. Because he's our best receiver. Because I just don't know if Brent, uh, like Brandon Cooks or Michael Gallup or one of our other young receivers. It'd be a mid-receiving core. So I think it's worth it. At least in my opinion. Um... So we have an update here about the Dolphins per FLA Sports Buzz. Uh, the hashtag Dolphins made free agent running back down to cook a contract offer, and there's quote mutual interest between the two teams. And he reportedly has, but he reportedly does though have multiple offers on the table. So there's mutual interest between him and the Dolphins, which is no surprise. Um, but he has multiple offers on the table. I feel like he's going to weigh his offers first. He's going to just weigh in his offers. I feel like it's going to be multiple vet minimum deals. Not one deal he wants to sign. I feel like there's been multiple deals. They're just like vet minimums. But I feel like he's disrespected though. Four straight 1,000 yard seasons. I feel like he should get paid, paid some. Because four straight 1,000 yard seasons is pretty, pretty good. And I think RG3 said this, which I completely agree with him. But Tom Pleaser even said he has multiple offers on the table right now. I just, I think it's just a matter of time, but, 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 quote, multiple offers on the table, but no teams. The Dolphins made an offer, I'm sure, but it doesn't say what other teams. So, per an update here. So the right, so Derek Carr uh, finally spoke out um, after he got benched late last season by the Raiders. So he was admits he was quote very upset and quote very mad at the Raiders for benching him last season. Per your report here, be at Fresno B and said quote, "I was for lack of, of a better term, I was very upset. I was mad. You spent nine years in a place. You have all the records." He played a high level, and for something to get in the way, whether it was whatever reason, money related or whatever injury related, I would have I would have said I don't even want the money just to play two more times in front of our fans. I didn't get that I didn't get that opportunity, so it definitely lit a fire inside me to keep going. I feel like it was handled fine. I, I get his point because I, I would have wanted to play in front of my fans two two more times. But that's what happens when you throw three three interceptions in your last in. Your last game played and played poorly most seasons. Not like he played good. But they gave him nine years to win a playoff game, and that leash is way longer than most quarterbacks would have gotten. You can't even do it. They could just take accountability and just say he sucked that season. And, I mean, it's just the truth. Just the facts. So, news here. Direct TV. They have announced a renewal. Renewal. An expansion of the NFL Red Zone and NFL Network. Who has Direct TV? I don't, I don't know anybody that has uh, Direct TV. But I guess the elderly, elderly with this news can rejoice. A uh, party reporter from Tom Pelissero, uh, um, Josh Jacobs, he can hold out week one of the, 20, of the 2023 season 
Police are upset one situation that nobody's talking about is Josh Jacobs. At this point, there's no long-term deal. I don't anticipate Jacobs being there at the start of training camp, and I don't know that he shows up week one. I feel like he's gonna hold out, and I don't think it, I, feel, I don't think it's gonna hurt him though, because you can t you can keep telling yourself that, but he's not playing on a franchise tag, and we all know this. He's one of the best running backs in the league. It led the league in rushing last year. If he's not paid by week one, he's not gonna play. The Raiders are just dysfunc so dysfun dysfun dysfunctional right now. So, uh, there was some good news. Well, some bad news. Uh, Leonard Fournette, as he was driving yesterday, um, his SUV, um, he was driving, burned. This is the bad news. Uh, unfortunately, uh, his, his car burned. Uh, it caught fire. As you can see from the video, if you watch, it could have been very bad if he didn't get out of that car. But luckily, he escaped a very scary moment, and he was able to get out of it. Glad to see he's okay. An update here about DeAndre Hopkins. Quote, um, or the Panthers and Browns are, quote, lurking to potentially sign wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins. I want a shot at the Browns. Hopkins, he's also received contract offers previously from the Patriots and Tennessee Titans. So the Panthers are even trying to get in on this action. They could they might be a good another good veteran uh, target for um, Bryce Young. Hopkins on the Panthers with Bryce Young would be pretty good to get another good um, ta talent over there for that team. Cause I think that would be a really good move. So Eagles All Pro tackle Lane Johnson revealed the top five pass rushers in the NFL on a Richard Sherman's podcast. He said. Miles Garrett, Max Crosby, T.J. Watt, Mika Parsons, Micah Parsons, and Demarcus Lawrence. So he has two Cowboys. He also mentioned Olivier Vernon, a former Dolphin Giant, and Brown. This is probably the top five pass rushers that he's faced. Probably. So, ex-Jets first-round pick, a uh, linebacker, Deron Lee, issued an, arre issued, an arrest, uh, issued an arrest warrant after he's been accused of beating his own mother and mother of his son. Jesus Christ. Yeah, typical NFL player behavior. I'll, wa I'll watch NFL's going to give him like a one-game suspension because they don't take this shit seriously. And they don't give multiple game suspensions or even a whole season suspension. This dude should even get jailed for this. Um, update. Chase Claypool is modeling in Paris, France on his Instagram account. Well, he couldn't play football, so I guess he has to get another job, and that's modeling, I guess. Top 10 AFC teams with the best chance to make the playoffs according to the analytics. The Patriots, Colts, Titans, Raiders, Broncos, and Texans are outside ESPN's top 10. Uh, Steelers are the lowest, though, with 34%. They have the Rams, Dolphins, Chargers, Jets, Ravens up there, and the Jaguars. The Chiefs are the highest with 77%. The Chiefs should have 100%. They're, they're definitely making the playoffs. Report the Jets will be on Hard Knocks this season, a source tells Mike Florio. The Jets publicly said they didn't want to be a sign, but it doesn't matter, appear to matter, they can't decline once they're selected. And they even, they even say what last year, or something, that they didn't want to be in it. But, they were forced to do it, so. They're now bracing for their involuntary selection to Hard Knocks. Deion Sanders made it through six surgery a success. Uh, Antonio Brown's being sued by his former Arena League players and coaches after he pulled money from their bank, bank account. So, remember he got uh, the, the whatever it was, uh, whatever league kicked him out. 
Uh, he pulled. He didn't pay players, and he pu- apparently here pulled money from their bank accounts. He's being sued by his former arena league players and coaches. It's always something with this clown. Such a bad guy. This guy always finds a way to get into the news. Now, the assault charges against Devontae Adams for pushing cameraman was dropped, but the case is still pending. So, yeah. Possible, um, fear for his life in the stadium. Well, whatever. Yeah, it's all saying to next Mac Peace.